In this lesson, we'll cover area and volume calculations. Now, we've already created our spaces, and you can see our spaces actually have the space name and space number, and we know the space is calculating area and volume, but it's not being displayed. So how do we go about that? Well, first of all, let's just double check to make sure those calculations are being calculated and see how they're being calculated, meaning like finished surface to finished surface of your given walls. So to see the calculations or the setting, let's go to Analyze tab, then go to the Spaces and Zones panel and click Spaces and Zones dropdown. From here, choose Area and Volume Computations. On the new window that opens up, verify area and volumes are being calculated at the finish faces and verify the finish faces is at the wall finish and then click OK. So now that we know those are being calculated, we need to display those on a tag. And to display those on a tag, simply click on one of the tags, such as conference, the properties will appear on the left, and then click edit type for the space tag. Now on the new window that appears, you see under graphics, you have two checkboxes, one for volume, one for area. So this can display now those calculations or totals for each space. Check mark show area and then click apply. What you'll see now is the total area of each space is now displayed below the tag. Uncheck mark show area and check mark show volume and click apply. You'll now see the volume displayed under the tag for each space. If you click both area and volume, it actually displays both values, but they're on top of each other. And that's because the symbol, the space tag symbol, actually has that created in itself. So if you'd actually want to display both the volume and the area in the space tag, you would have to actually edit the tag itself and modify the arrangement of those numbers so they're stacked and not on top of each other. For now, though, let's just leave the show area check mark and uncheck mark show volume and click apply. And then click OK. And then click in the background to deselect. Since that is changed and set to show area, if you were to create a new space by default, and you can see this here, it says not enclosed, meaning that I do not have it over an enclosed area. But once you move over an enclosed area, you actually see the area calculation with the tag. So go ahead and click Modify. So what we looked at in this lesson was area and volume calculations for our space tags. Now you can also apply the same thing for room tags if you are creating rooms within your architectural plan. But since this is mechanical, we looked at applying the area and volume to space tags. Now we first looked at the actual calculations for area and volume to verify they were calculating. And then lastly, we looked at turning on or editing the space tag annotation symbol so it now displays either area or volume.